I have absolutely no idea whatsoever whether this weapon is unique, whether, you know, Kairos Saber, if it's just, you know, the name of this type of weapon, or it belonged to someone called Mr. Kairos or something, Cyrus, don't care. This is a beautiful weapon. This, this is me. Yes, it is. By that, I mean sleek, dangerous, and absolutely gorgeous. And it's also currently covered in blood. I'm cold, I'm wet, and I'm pretty sure I'm covered in wolf snot. God knows how many other things I've actually... Okay. Please tell me I don't have to go swimming in the icy cold water. There must be a way around. There must be a way around. How are there so many wolves living this area when there are men nearby? Don't you people need fur coats? Meat? Do people eat wolves? Probably not. Anyway, I've made it back to Dawnstar and... No, right, I was going to say, there's no carriage. I'm not here for the carriage, I'm here for the boat. Although I have to say, I think I'm going to warm up and perhaps even have a night's sleep because I'm absolutely shattered. Come on in. Apparently I slept on a wooden floor last night. Okay. Oh, God. See, I can't even walk straight. Hello, Thoring. Need a room? Uh, don't worry. Nightmares don't seem to happen for travelers. Nightmares? Uh, I'm looking for work gotten in Leeds. No, I'm not. Heard any rumors? Have you seen the shrine of Azura? They say the dark elves I think I have, yes. after they fled from Mora Wind. Sight to see. From a distance, probably. Okay, uh, tell you what, why don't you refill my water? Of course. And I'd like a room for the day, I guess. I will be traveling on, but I am so utterly shattered. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I do not want to go anywhere else until I have warmed up. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Uh. Okay. <clears throat> Let me know if there's anything else you need. I'm not even going to say it at this point. I really, I just, I, I, I might spend a little money. The cabin in the woods. I was going to say, I might spend a little money and just send Father, a bunch of sheets. About Mother? No, Corita. Let's listen think to the conversation. I'm sure she would want you to be happy, Father. Entertaining the guests and drinking and making your lewd jokes like before. I'm sorry. I just don't feel up to entertaining anyone just now. Okay, guys. Could you leave my room? Yeah, uh, send them some sheets and uh, just say, look, when Leonard arrives, make the bed with these. And doors. I'm going to send them all doors as well. There is something very odd about this place. <coughs> it's very early in the morning. Breakfast time, in fact. And there are a few patrons sat eating quietly. They were eating when I woke up at 6 a.m. after a good 14 hours of sleep, because it was actually evening. When I came out of my room, they were all, well, those two were sat there quietly, and she was stood staring at something. And strange priest fellow was just stood there as well, like he's waiting for me to go and talk to him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand up and I'm going to get out of here before I get roped in. If you crouch down, you'll have a much better chance of rifling through her pockets. Pro tip, you're welcome. Okay, 
time. Oh, now they're talking. I have to tell you, breakfast alone is just not the same. No, it's not. Well, it's another beautiful, snowy, cold day. But... Oh. Okay, you're going to tell me something. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Okay. And... Let's see here. Oh, there's a new lady Adopt. in charge of the orphanage in Riften. She asked me to hand out these notices to everyone I met. Looks like that's it. Uh, Got to uh, go. You said for my hands only. I have a feeling I should stab him. You said a message for me, my hands only, and then said, oh, I'm just handing these out to everyone. Oh, my eye on that guy. He keeps following me around, appearing at odd moments to give me letters, which sounds like he's an industrious, efficient fellow. But in actual fact, I'm beginning to think he might be following me. Yes, indeed. Right. So, letter of, a, of adopt. Here's, consider adoption. Um, no. Speak with Constance Michael about adoption. In these days of war and strife, the orphans of Skyrim are true victims. Many have no one left to turn to and face a life of hard labor, poverty and misery. If you could provide a stable home for one of those innocent children, please consider adoption. Whether you choose to adopt from us or take in someone closer to home, you can make a difference in a child's life. For more information, inquire with Constance Michael, Honor All Orphanage, Riften. How about not? Although, I could see the advantage of having a very small helper who can Quicksilver mine is get the best mine in Dawn's places. And you can tell those iron breaker other miners I see so. Uh, I, I will. I will tell them that Le Legelf said something about their silver mines. This was a shock, wasn't it? Oh, right, yes. I tell you what. I don't need to use the... Um... The mortar and pestle makes potions, if you can't tell from the name. No, I could. Uh, step up to the counter. I, I will. Uh, I don't think I need to actually take any potions as I'm going to be taking a bit of a boat ride. Um, uh, right, the mortar okay. and pestle has cures for every illness, from ataxia to whitbane. Okay, yes, 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 yes. No, I don't have anything for bad dreams, so don't ask. I don't have bad dreams. I have very good dreams, occasionally way too good, and I wake up in strange places with leather... Cl you know what? Um... I would just like so to see. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients. I'm just more interested in selling some of the uh, some of the crap that I don't actually need. I really should take fortified barter potions before I buy and sell anything. But the, the problem is, is I always end up getting the merchants down to zero gold anyway, and still have tons of stuff left to sell, Let me know and eventually offload into a chest in Riften that I will probably never empty. And I'm thirsty. A stamina potion, maybe? Popular with young men. How dare you? I was thinking of actually using her alchemy table to mix a few potions, but she wouldn't stop making innuendo. And honestly, she was kind of getting on my nerves. Here's what you don't want when mixing things that could possibly explode or turn you into a rabbit. People distracting you with rude innuendo. Um, I found one piece of this blade. I wonder if I could just tell him what was that sound. Okay, you. Silas, that's it. Silas Vesuvius. What is it? I've got... Do you have one of the razor fragments? I do. Yes, there are two more left to get, though. I, I will get around to it. Look at them. The legendary sharpness Eight. of a Daedric weapon. Marvellous. Oh. And here's your payment for the shards. 800, that's we not bad. We just need the hilt and the pommel right. now. Right. So we get the hilt and the pommel. Can we then fix those pieces together? And then it will look good in the displays here, won't it? 
where nobody will come and take it and use it to stab people. I'll just be tending the museum if you need me. It's possible that I might. Yes. However, I will see you after I get two more pieces. If I get two more pieces. One of those pieces is... What the hell do you... It's a broom! It's a broom! I wondered what the hell that was. Okay. Hello. Looking to hire a boat? Yes, I am, Harlow. I can take you to any port on the coast. Yeah, there's only two. Okay, come on. Where are you headed? There's Solitude and Windhelm, and I'm not going to win. Oh. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, I can't quite remember. Right. Oh yeah, travel to the. Oh no, friends like these. Bedlam job. White run. Markarth. Windhelm. It's a possibility, isn't it? Windhelm? You know, here's the thing. You might as well, while you're there... Ooh, stolen flawed ruby in Everett Sand's house. We got solitude. Solitude. Windhelm, three. Windhelm just seems to be winning at the moment, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I don't like Windhelm. But I wasn't planning on actually going to Solitude. I was planning on taking the uh, the carriage back to Riften like and finding Inigo. So can get you there faster than walking. But I don't need Inigo. Where are you headed? To do a little pilfering. Climb on in the boat and get comfortable. It does occur to me that I may have been a little hasty in my judgment of Windhelm. It's a bleak, boring and depressing place, but it does have a dock, a port of sorts, and apparently an East Empire company, Clan Shattershield's office, whatever that is, and an Argonian assemblage. I'm not sure what the latter is, but I think it's always a good idea I wish to... The Lords, Argonians, and Dark Elves and Windhelm got along better. Yeah, I'm not so sure I agree. Sometimes conflict could be an opportunity. East Empire Company. This is... Is this a warehouse, or is it a... Okay. Out of curiosity, I'm just going to take my cloak off so that I can move a little easier. Out of curiosity, what are the tasks I have in this area? Change the ledger at Candlehearth Hall in Windhelm. Okay, I could do that, I think. I've done that before, actually. Viola Giordano's house. I've been there. I keep stealing from that poor woman, don't I? Dear, oh dear. And I need to retrieve the emerald double-cut basket head gold ring. That's a mouthful. From Sadri's used wares. I think I know where that is. I could do... I can do some of these during the day. Barely waste a moment. But before I do... I see no reason why I shouldn't just check out what is in this strong box. I will take a more detailed look in that place another time. For now, let's get down to business so that we can get on our way back to Riften. Fixing the business ledger was trivially easy. And taking the golden ship or jewel ship, that was almost as easy. I've actually robbed that mansion many times before. There's the guard. Okay. So, just, just walk on by, look casual. I was just taking a wee. I do hope that wasn't against any rules. Yes, I do. But this next heist is in the traders there. And that trader is unfortunately prone to stay up late. 
I checked it at about midnight and, well, half past midnight, and he was still not asleep. I can't remember if I've got a key for this one or if I have to pick the lock. Is he in bed? He's still not in bed. I, I, I just... I almost can't be bothered. Right, let's just... sell just about anything. Okay. I think he knows I'm here. I'll come back later. I mean, I see the advantage in working late in this sort of business, and I admire his work ethic, but I really do wish he would go to bed. It's 3am and I was hoping to get to Riften, well, about eight hours ago. I just hate the idea of getting back to Riften empty-handed. I know I've done two things here, but I'd like to do a third. Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? When does this person sleep? Oh, God, should I have come here during the day? I should have come here during the day, shouldn't I? I just assumed I was breaking into a shop to find some random item that... Almost certainly was not going to be obvious. I mean, it's, it's a small piece of jewellery. I thought to myself, I'd best go in the evening. So I timed everything perfectly. And now I'm stuck outside getting snowed on. Bloody freezing. If this idiot hasn't got to bed yet, I'm just going to go and sit in the... Oh, I I'm sitting in the bar. I'm going to come back in broad daylight and then... Is he going to be, like, awake 24 hours? Hello. Morning. I'm doing an early morning run because I do that sort of thing when I'm in a bad mood. And trust me, I'm in a bad mood. Well, a cold and crappy night has rolled over into a cold and crappy morning. Let's go and see if he's gone to bloody bed. And if he's not, I'm just going to go in there and hang around until he turns his back and rifle through every drawer he possesses. It, I, you know what I need? Do you know what I need? I need a potion of sleep. You just... You just... slip in the food or something and then... Just, oh, all right, do I have any potions I can take? Did he have an alchemy thing in there? Right, let's do, do I have a potion of sneak? Fortify sneak, harder to detect. Oh, it's not really, 60 seconds is not a lot of time, is it? It's a little longer. Uh, Have a look around. I buy and sell just about anything. Seriously, he talks in his sleep. He talks in his goddamn sleep. He leaves his door open at night and he talks in his sleep. She all that time wasted. All that time. Damn it. Always happy to see a customer. But I won't deal in stolen goods. That's trouble I don't need. Okay, that's just weird, okay? Weird. Wait. Didn't he give me Viola's gold ring to to plant back on Vi... I didn't find... No, I haven't found it yet. I've not found the... Whatever it is yet. Why have you got Viola's ring? Oh, wait. Did I steal it? From her? I stole it from her. Did I sell it back to you? No, you you won't sell 
You won't buy stolen goods, Good will you? see you. Will you buy oh, stolen goods? A bit of this and a bit of that. <sighs> let's let's just check. St no, you won't buy stolen goods. Why do you have oh, yeah. Viola's ring still? You had me. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. Until later, then. Okay. Not only did I not get what I came for, I'm now wondering what the hell I planted back in Viola's house for him to get him out of trouble after he accidentally, air quotes, bought a ring. A ring I then definitely stole from her at some point. I did. And I may have sold to a fence. And I suppose may have got back to him. I'm surprised he doesn't ask me to put it back. Oh, what do I do now? All this time, he was, he was actually sleep talking. Oh, do I, do I hang around for another bloody day just to get this job? Oh, you know what? <sighs> I, 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 I can't. I can't do it. I, I. I hate to leave a job unfinished, but I'm going to take this as the universe's hint that that particular job was oh, not Frida meant to be. Up. And I'm going back to Riften to find out where the hell Indigo is and what the hell happened. Made it back to Riften and... Nobody started screaming and shouting. There he is! Get him! So, whatever happened a few nights ago can't have been that bad. Okay. Where would Inigo? Inigo would probably be down in the flagon, wouldn't he? If he was going to be anywhere. Yes. Okay, has anyone seen a giant blue Khajiit? Check the sweet rolls if he was... No, he's not hanging around the sweet rolls. No, not catnapped. Kidnapped. Kidnapped. Forcibly taken against my will, I think. Not totally sure what happened, but kidnapped. I was kidnapped, and not the good sort of kidnapped either. Not out with your friends and you wake up naked except for a pair of fake breasts. Proper kidnapped. There were other people as well, and there was blood. It was, you're supposed to be my bodyguard. You're supposed to be looking after me. Did you not even notice I was gone? Seriously, you are, you are like, 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 you're a terrible friend. I didn't mean. It was just, it was just, you know. You just gotta walk, we gotta walk. I didn't mean the whole terrible friend thing. I was just. Dude. Yes, my friend. I got you some sweet rolls. Seriously, the Dark Brotherhood, for real. Probably the only other organization that could threaten the power of our guild has now contacted me. We have a way in. We could not only have the thieves and the street beggars in our pockets, we could have the killers and murderers. This is yet another opportunity to gain power and leverage. So the plan to use these riches to climb the social ladder will have to be temporarily postponed because we well, we have a new line of work opening up for us. So let's make some preparations. Look at that, Inigo. I have discovered a way to make night vision potions. This is going to be extremely useful. It, it is. That's... I, dude, night vision. Being able to see, uh, no, that is just, I can't tell if you're being sarcastic sometimes. 
I suppose it's because you can see in the dark pretty well anyway. Well, some of us can't. Some of us need all the help we can get. Okay, please look after this. And if you could rush the order, I would really, really appreciate it. I, I want this back so badly, okay? Um, so please, please take care of it. Send me a message the instance it's done, and 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 I'll I will I will I will be right along to collect it. Okay. Okay. You have no idea how. It looks like a wonderful dream in the fog. It's all right, I guess. Okay. Um, Medesi. Greetings, honored friend. Believe Could it or I not, interest you in some fine jewelry. Perhaps, but I have a chunk of gold ore for you. Perfect. Melting this down will give me plenty of gold for those necklaces I started. And that will give me something to acquire from you later on. Thank you Safe for the septins. Travels, right. Then. Oh, I better, um, I better get, uh, this blade ready again now that I've lost. I, um, I'm, I'm going to be pining for that, so you better get used to it. Right. We're on our way to Falkrieth, and I will fill you in on all of the other details whilst we're on our way. Ooh! You know, do you know what? We did discuss this, didn't we? We talked about getting you your own horse. Now, we couldn't buy another one at Windhelm, but can we buy another one here in Riften? Too lazy to walk, eh? Well, you found the right place. I need a horse for my friend Don't mind if you Inigo. Do. What's your price? I still feel like you guys should tell me what the the price is. You're the horse salesman. You should know the price. And then we should probably haggle. Just I just feel this is wrong. You just walk in and I go, ah, right, fine, I'll give you mm, a thousand. And you go, sure, okay. Sold. She's all yours. She's all And the speed up. he says sold makes me think I could have got away with far less. Really does. Until next time. Just I don't know. I feel like we should be bartering, haggling, arguing over, you know, whether or not the horse is worth that much money. That's sweet roll. That is sweet roll, and you are You are Inigo's horse. Yes, you are. Inigo, this is your white grey. Dirty white. Horse? I don't know. It's a, it's a... Well, let's call it grey. It's a grey horse. It's yours. Uh, right. Will you ride it? That is the million dollar question. Horse. Let's ride! I am climbing on Sweet Roll. You're not... You're not climbing on the horse. In a go. That's your horse. Oh, I was going to do it for... You don't want sweet roll, do you? I mean, I mean, I, I get it. I mean, sweet roll and everything, but it's, that's my horse. I know you're the one that loves sweet rolls, but I'm the one that gets them for you. If if I climb on this horse, are you are you going to? Are you going to? Look, oh, okay, feet. <laughs> Oh, no, maybe I just I tell you, you what. I tell you something what. to say? Yes. Um, I need you to do something. What did you have me do? I want you, you to. You, I do not want you to attack Leonard's. No, I do not. No. Okay. Lead the way. Okay. You want to talk? Uh, do you have any thoughts? Thoughts like, I'd like to ride a horse. My nose likes this place even more than I do. Dude, it, it, it's a horse stable. This place probably stinks. I mean, I don't know because I've been holding my breath for the last five minutes and breathing through my bloody ears. Um, mind if I ask you something? Go ahead, ask away. Would you like to... I want to give you a horse, Inigo. Yes, this is it. Really? Really, really. Re yes, take my Riften horse. He's... She's yours. It's a, it's a she. It's a she. Okay. That delightful dappled horse with a song in his heart dappled. and fire in his belly. Dappled. What a gift! Thank you. But it, but it is, it, it's a her. Okay, it's a, it's a, it's a her. Okay, but 
My very own steed. Yes! Wow. A dapple steed. It's very dappled. Okay, so will you climb on dapple? Is that what we're going to call her? Dapple. Sweet roll and dapple. Oh, come on, dude. Climb on the hole. Y yes! Yes! Dude! <laughs> she suits you as well. I will call my new steed Artax. It is a nice, strong, honest name. And not too flashy. It suits him. It, it's a her, and honestly, I prefer Dapple. It, it rhymes with apple. Then we would have had d apple and sweet roll. You're kind of ruining the whole... Okay. Thing is, we're not actually taking the horses any... You've actually renamed... Okay, then. Okay, you know... Right. We are going to Valkyria. Need a ride? Okay, Inigo, why do I still have the Cyrus Sabre? Did I accidentally not give it to the blacksmith? I say accidentally, perhaps it was some... I don't know. Subconscious desire not to give it over. Oh, for the... Remind me to get that sorted when we are next in Riften. Right. Now, the instructions I received to get to this sanctuary seem to indicate a place that's near the junction where we turned off for Krask... Krask? Cracked Tusk Keep, which is not that far away. However, it is not going to be a pleasant walk. Where's your horse? That sweet roll, where is Artax? It was Artax. If I ride my horse, will you whistle and your horse will come... Oh, okay. I'm not going to ask how you did that. I probably am, but not right now. Because, uh... <laughs> this rain is making my steed's hair frizzy. Okay, Inigo seems to be enjoying his horse, and I know how that sounded. I, um, he seems happy that I bought him a horse, which is good. Now, good grief, I can't see a damned thing. Right, that's the junction. Now, she said... Oh, I'm picking flowers. She said it was... Below the road. Which road did she mean? What was that sound? Not, not. That sound. Okay. Was it? Stop pushing. I am in your way. I Is it down sorry. here? I don't actually... Nightshade. That's probably a hint, isn't it? Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary discovered. I don't see anything. Please tell me. Okay. That was ominous, wasn't it? Oh, it's not a cave. Don't... I was expecting a building. Not necessarily a huge one. But stylish. It's a cave. It's a bloody cave. It, it's one of those doors we... There's the heartbeat again. Yes, it's one of those doors that we spoke to. Ah, oh, right, yes. What is the music of life? Something about silence, wasn't it? Silence, my brother. Yeah, silence, my brother. Thank you very much, I think. Okay, maybe it's a stylish cave. Oh. Ah, Inigo is not all that keen on walking through that door. 
I can't say that I blame him too much, all things considered. I was expecting the sort of guild hall I'd read about the things like the Morag Tong. This is a cave, or a Nordic ruin. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Oh, is that? That is... Ah, uh, at last. I hope you found the place all right. I barely recognised you with your face on. Um, so what happens now and why are we here? Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. Uh, so get comfortable. Okay, I'm not sure about the safe part. I'm pretty sure the comfortable part may be a little difficult. Um, have you ever thought about maybe cleaning the place up? I mean, the, the chairs look clean and nice, I suppose. Um, when do I get to kill someone? Are you kidding me? I, yeah, no, I'm honoured. Thank you very much. Our family, my dearest. Our family. Okay. Together, united as one, the Dark Brotherhood can accomplish anything. But you must be anxious to get to work. I'm arranging a job, but need a bit more time. For now, go see Nazir. He's got several smaller contracts. Nazir? Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, but one last thing. Okay. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your endeavors. Is this, is this kind of like leathery? Like, you I'm honored to be part of it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I have to say, I love the way you speak. I really do. I mean, I love the outfit. I love your sense of drama. But you speak with this kind of soft yet menacing tone really really good don't know if i said it before big fan at the moment yes indeed uh, but out of curiosity the night mother the unholy matron the shrouded lady the mistress of the void she goes by many names ages past sithis gave a woman five children she killed them to win his favor Thus, becoming the Night Mother. Sithis! If you believe that sort of thing. Today, she's... Well, she's a skeleton. An ancient corpse. But more importantly, a corpse that's being brought to this sanctuary by her keeper. Um... So, it's Sithis. And she's coming here as a dead person. Okay, I'm beginning to have... A few misgivings. So, so the Night Mother is being brought here? Yes. A few months ago, I received word from the Night Mother's keeper that he had arrived in Skyrim from Cyrodiil. The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was destroyed, a result of the chaos caused by the war with the Thalmor. That forced a relocation. I don't know where the keeper has been these past few months, but I recently received another letter. He's bringing the Night Mother here. Soon. The Keeper. See, I love the titles. Definitely. The Night Mother. The Keeper. We've got this drama thing definitely down pat. Yes. Well, uh, actually, uh, this, this, is, this is kind of a bit more mundane, but how do contracts get to you? They used to come from the Night Mother. Potential clients would perform the Black Sacrament, and she would hear their prayers. The Night Mother would communicate this to the listener, who would then dispatch a speaker to arrange the contract with the client. But that was a long time ago. There hasn't been a listener in years. Not since Cyrodiil was overrun in the war with the Thalmor. But people don't know that, so they still perform the ritual. And we eventually hear about it. When someone wants us, we find out. Okay, so we've got Keepers, Listeners... See, was it Seekers? 
you, you might have to write all this down for me, or I, do we have a chart? That would be very useful. Uh, what if I get caught killing someone? I'm not going to get caught killing someone. Out of curiosity, if some really weird occurrence happens and I do get caught, maybe, what, what happens? Try not to. Okay. But I do realize it's sometimes not that easy. You may want to make a statement, or a contract may require a public killing. Exactly! Murder is obviously a very serious crime. Well, yes. And a very high bounty will be put on your head in the hold where the act was committed. You can run, obviously, but you'll still have a price on your head. If a guard attacks, you can attempt to yield by sheathing your weapon. If the guard accepts, you that... can serve your time in a cell or mm. pay your bounty. Oh. We've all gone through it. We do what we must to survive. Well, usually when I put my weapon but away... There is another option. Some members of the Thieves' Guild in Riften can get their bounties erased for a price. Something to think about. Uh, phew, I wouldn't know anything about that, he says, hoping... She believes him. Are there any rules I should be aware of? You know, don't use this towel, that bathroom's out of bounds, etc. Used to be the Dark Brotherhood was bound by five tenets, but we stopped following those years ago. All those rules, all that discipline, and look where the Dark Brotherhood ended up. We're the last of our kind, and we live the way we see fit. Bottom line, respect your family. Do that, and everything else will fall into place. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm not saying the whole do as thou will is the um, all of the Lord or whatever it is. is not, not a, a great philosophy. Um, however, it's a sort of philosophy I like to live by myself, knowing that everybody else is living by some other rules, preferably ones I've, uh, you know, had a hand in. But... The thing that's sort of springing to mind right now is, doesn't Sithis have some sort of... I mean, you know, it's just like the Thieves' Guild, for example, have Nocturna, and she, she gets a, a little bit tetchy about certain things. So I'm just wondering, what are the tenants, he says, making chit-chat? Tell me about yourself. Do you come here often? This sanctuary has been my entire life since I was a young woman. That's when I first discovered my... Shall we call it aptitude for elimination? I had an uncle, you see. He made certain unwanted advances. So I killed him and liked it. Then I killed again and liked it even more. And so on. Okay. I was recruited by the Dark Brotherhood and have been here ever since. I met my husband, Arnbjorn, rose to leadership. And now, here we are. So you're a serial killer, basically. I mean, I'm not judging. It's just, it's, uh, you know, it's good to know. You're a stylish serial killer, so, hey, uh, we all have our thing, right? Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. I, I, I will do. I, I'd like to try the new outfit on Shrouded Hood. I can... Okay. I, I'd like to, um... Do, do you have somewhere I can... Change? Just, just give me a second. I am curious as to r shrouded. Ooh. Now red is not exactly me. It's, it's not. I, I, I prefer silver. Maybe, maybe a little blue. It's, it's. It depends. But you know, red does make a statement, doesn't it? Where it is muffled? Interesting. Shrouded cowl and shrouded gloves. Uh, oh. Um. Ah. Uh, uh. No. 